This is a quick guide on how to set up the SKU app for Shopify. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is come to the Settings tab, fill out an email address, your first and last name, and a credit card number. This is how we charge all your orders that come through our system. You can add multiple credit cards and select which one you'd like as default. Uh, the next thing we'll need is an accounting contact name. This is in case we're having any billing uh, issues with your card. We'll reach out to this uh, email. The last decision you'll need to make is how you'd like to publish designs. You can either default publish them as hidden or allow them to be published directly to your store. We recommend publishing them as hidden. The next tab I'd like to show you is the products tab. On the products tab, you can adjust any of the default settings for a given product. You come here to the edit button and you can change the public name, the price you'd like to publish to Shopify, the weight, or the public description. All the defaults are listed here below each field, but feel free to, to change them to whatever you like. This is the users tab. You can add new users to your account. For instance, if you had a guest artist that you wanted to come and create something, you would add them in here adding their email, name, password, and then deciding what role they want. Most people would add as an artist. And then you'll have to <clears throat> let us know what shop you'd like them to publish to. And if you want a special tag associated with them. This is helpful for searching out products from a particular person. This is the My Artwork tab, where you'll add artwork We'll do a quick one just in, as an example. Once you've added some artwork, you can go ahead and create some products. Clicking here will open the design tool. You can select a product you'd like to design on. I'll do a men's t-shirt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my artwork in. And make a background color. Go ahead and save my shirt. In here, I can add any details I want. I can change the description or the name, enter any tags, and decide my price. The minimum sales price is listed here, which is the price you'll be paying us for each item. So you can set your price to anything above that. Once you've created a product, you can activate it into your store by clicking this link. And you can also download product images to share across social media or share the link for your product. You can always come and deactivate products here, or you can delete them directly from the Shopify interface. Either will work. If you'd like to go back and edit your design, you would do that here. Which will open the tool again. You can edit the settings, such as the name and product description here, or delete it altogether. These are all the basic tabs you need to be familiar with to start publishing and creating products for your store. Later, once you have orders, they'll appear in this tab. And you can search them by the Shopify ID, the customer name, or the Ecom ID, which is the ID that our internal system publishes. That's it.